Okay, so today's lesson objective, we're going to use division properties of exponents to simplify or evaluate um, expressions. So on this first one, we've got a to the fourth over a squared. So a to the fourth is just a times a times a times a, and a squared is a times a. And then you cancel them out, and you're just left with a squared. So essentially what you can do is you can ask yourself, is there more on the top or the bottom? And that could save you time from having to write it all the way out. <laughs> okay, so is there more on the top or the bottom? <clears throat> so I want you guys to do this one on your whiteboards, 2 to the 7th over 2 squared. Okay, it looks like most of you had it. I've got seven twos on top and only two on the bottom, so it is 2 to the 5th. All right, go ahead and do this one also on your whiteboards, 4 to the 8th over 4 cubed. Yep, looks like you guys got that one too. It's 4 to the 5th. All right, <clears throat> so let's take a look at this next one. This is for your notes. All right, now I have x cubed over x to the 7th. So I've got three x's that are going to cancel out. What do I have to leave behind when everything cancels out on top? Have to put a 1 on top. <clears throat> so this would equal 1 over x to the 4th. But again, if you ask yourself, are there more on the top or the bottom? There's more on the bottom, right? How many more? Four of them. And so that means you leave a 1 on the top and a 4 on the bottom. x to the 4th on the bottom. All right, so on your whiteboards, go ahead and do that one. Um, no, Melanie. Okay, so looks like you guys got that one too. There's more Y's on the bottom. There's eight more, so it's one over Y to the eight. Okay, this is for your notes. All right, so sometimes you might have to um, do some work before you can decide whether there's more on the top or the bottom. <clears throat> I don't need to do anything to the top. It's d to the fourth e cubed, <clears throat> but now on the bottom I've got d e squared, so essentially I have d squared and e squared. So do I have more d's on the top or the bottom? On top. How many more? Two. Two. Do I have more e's on the top or the bottom? On the top. On the top. How many more? Just one. Do I need to write e to the first power? No, I can just write e. So when you're done writing that down, you guys can do this one on your whiteboards. Okay, so for this one, I've got x to the fifth, y squared on top. And then you would have had x cubed, y cubed on the bottom. So are there more x's on top or the bottom? There's more x's on top by 2, right? Where are there more y's, though? On the bottom by 1. So you can write it y to the first, or you can just write it x squared over y. Okay, one more of these for your whiteboards. Okay, so on there's more threes on the bottom by one, there's more fours on the bottom by one, and there's two more fives on top. So five squared is twenty-five, three times four is twelve. So twenty-five over twelve would be your answer there. Okay, 
So the positive power of a quotient, we'll talk about this. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm doing a, b to the n power, it's just going to simplify as a to the n over b to the n. So if I'm squaring 4 sevenths, I'm just doing 4 sevenths times 4 sevenths. So 4 times 4 is 16, 7 times 7 is 49. And that's all you'd have to do on a problem like that. When you're done with that, I'll have you guys do this one on your whiteboards. Okay, so you're just multiplying two-thirds times itself three times, right? So what's two times two times two? Eight. What's three times three times three? Twenty-seven. Okay, so don't just do three times two and three times three. That's not going to work. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now for this one, it's raised to the fourth power. So that means I've got 3d squared four times on top. And I have EF four times on the bottom. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is? Anybody out there knows? Okay, there we go, 81. <clears throat> and then I have 2, 4, 6, 8 Ds, so D to the 8. And on the bottom I have 4 Es and 4 Fs. Okay, are there any bases on the same on the top and the bottom? No. So there's nothing that will cancel out, and at that point you're done. Okay. So this next one I'm going to have you guys do on your whiteboards. Okay, so you've got 2xy squared times itself three times on top, and on the bottom you have x cubed y three times. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and I've got 1, 2, 3 x's on top, 2, 4, 6 y's on top. On the bottom I've got 3, 6, 9 x's and three y's. So at this point you're not done though because the base x is appearing twice and the base y is appearing twice. So some of you stopped there until I said no keep going. So <clears throat> at this point there are more y's on top. How many more? Three. three. And how many more x's on the bottom? Six. Okay. All right, now if you have a negative power of a quotient, it's just like we did before. <laughs> you have to flip it and change the sign of the exponent. So he's happy. <clears throat> So, for example, if I have 3 fourths to the negative 3 power, that means I just have to flip that over and make it 4 thirds to the positive 3 power. So then that's 4 thirds times 4 thirds times 4 thirds. And so it equals 4 times 4 times 4, which is what? 64. And 3 times 3 times 3, 27. So on your whiteboards, do two-thirds to the negative four power. All right, so you're flipping it over. 
and making it 3 halves and then raising it to the fourth power. What's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3? 81. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? 16. <clears throat> Okay, class isn't over, guys. All right, so for this next example, we're going to flip it over and make the exponent positive. So now I've got y cubed on top and 2x squared on the bottom to the second power. So that's y cubed and y cubed, 2x squared, 2x squared. So I have y to the sixth on top and 4x to the fourth on the bottom. Is there anything I can reduce? No, so I'm done. So I want you guys to do this one on your whiteboards. You're not getting out of here until this problem is done. Okay, so flip it over. We have n cubed over 4m two times. So it equals n to the sixth over 16m squared. Thank you.